It all started with severe headaches six years ago. Laura Itori had just completed her KCSE exam and was preparing to attend university. But a rare disease will change the course of her life completely and render her blind. Today, she is strong, independent and studying in the United States. Laura didn't allow her unexpected misfortune to hold her back from realizing her destiny. On her say, Laura shares her story of loss, discovery and hope. Her say in association with Nif she damaged my optic nerve. Over the course of three days, Laura's world as she knew it faded to black. I'm totally blind, like I see black, <laughs> if that's, that's a better description for sighted people. It was a major hurdle for Laura, who had just finished her KCSC exams after having performed very well. She had high hopes of studying actuarial science. When I finished high school, I had been accepted to an actuarial science course program. I always wanted to be an actuary, but you know, I got sick and then I couldn't go do that. The schools here, I went after I got some training, I was like, okay, now I want to go back to school. When I went back, they were like, um, no, we can't take you for such a course, you're blind. And I figured out the reason why they say that is because they only have braille curriculum for only two courses in us in our universities like law and gender studies but you see not everyone wants to become a lawyer but when that door closed another opened over 11,000 kilometers away in the u.s state of new jersey by the time i was moving i was only two two years into blindness and you know for most of that time i had been around my family um I was excited, I like new challenges, but again, I, I was also very scared. You know, it's a new place, I don't know anyone. Laura is doing a double major in computer science and applied math at Rutgers University. I want to enter into a PhD program, I want to do research in computing, but I want to focus on machine learning and artificial intelligence. Yes, I love, I love math and computer sciences. I was, like I said before, I was in actuarial science, but I went and realized computer science is so practical. You solve like real world problems and it's fun. <laughs> you get to travel a lot and meet many people. And research, you get to work with people, you know, directly. So it's, I'm a very social person, so I enjoy working with people. Laura prides herself in being independent, jumping into activities such as the Miss Blind Diva pageant and is even a competitive swimmer heading the New Jersey Mermaids swim team. I do everything on my own. I walk around, I travel a lot on my own. I cook, I'm actually a pastry chef. Her journey to accepting her life now hasn't been easy. Being sidelined is the order of the day with her condition. If you're a disabled person, I think you will experience discrimination at some point in your life. But you just learn how to, you know, ignore it. If you, if you live in perpetual offense, you wouldn't be living a happy life. And with that attitude, she soldiers on, hoping society can be a bit kinder and even the playing field for her and others living with disabilities seeking to win in this game called life.